Welcome to Nimbatis Space Drone Constructor. It is, as the name implies, a space drone constructor. Now, there are so many different pockets in this game that you could just find yourself lost in. But the key thing that you have to be into is the ship building part. Because that is, again, as the name implies, that is a major part of the game, building your own drones. They could be autonomous drones, they can be manually driven drones, which is my favorite personally. Uh, just And you could build whatever you want. There's no limit. It's Legos and KSP together. Like, it's crazy. Crazy and FTL. I mean, I can't leave out FTL music wise as you're listening to right now It sounds like Ben Prutti music as we get through and play the game. You'll hear a lot of that as well uh, it, it is there's a lot of uh, art influence that feels very KSP I mean some elements gonna stand right out once we get into it uh, But like I said the actual ship building part is the key thing you have to be into so that's gonna be the first thing that We're gonna jump into here. Let me go into my this is my, uh, my my creative save we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go right to the hangar and so if this part does not intrigue you, you might as well go ahead and just move on to another video. Honestly, I'm just trying to be honest with you. So first off, you start with your drone core, and this is basically the heart of your ship. That thing blows up, you're done, right? We're going to place a thruster here, and then we're going to go ahead and place just, just basic thrusters, okay? So we'll do like, maybe we'll do two thrusters in the back, and that, that well, those are set to key W, okay? Uh, then I'll go ahead and do a couple thrusters, maybe one on the side, uh, and then I'll just uh, copy paste to the other side. And then I'll go ahead and copy paste some over here to the front. It'll put like two in the front. So I have two. Yes, I do. Okay, cool. Put two in the front here. And these ones going to be S. S as well. And then this one's going to be D. And that one's going to be A. So I believe those are correct. Oops. I also need... <laughs> Jesus. I also need to have some fuel tanks. Let's go ahead and grab that. Put that there. Grab that. Put that there. Put one here. Put one here. Control C. Control V. Control Z. Control Y. If you look at the right hand side, all of your typical app related, like, uh, you know, uh, uh, kind of... Um, uh, what would you call it, creative tools or whatever, where you're just kind of adding, pasting, whatever. Uh, all those tools pretty much work. It's actually a very robust building system, which is good because, like I said, this is the core part of the game. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys a couple things. If you watch me play, you already see a couple mistakes, but we'll go through it. I'm going to teach you guys how to do some of this stuff because uh, it is all about trial and error. We're in test flight now, and you notice that I have rear, forward, and then left and right. But you notice that it doesn't turn very well, right? Kind of turns kind of janky. And the reason for that is, if you have noticed, this yellow die here was moving around as I was putting uh, ship elements all over the place. That is your center of mass. So you have to move the thrusters to a position where they're not impacting uh, the, or they're not pushing directly sideways on the ship. Which in this case, they're pretty close. This is why this thing's not turning. But if I take them and plug them into this, so it's like, go like this, and then boom, now it's attached to that. Go over here, go attached to that, and I do the same thing. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they changed. Uh, oh, they changed the W. <laughs> All right, we're going to fix that again. And here we go. Now we're turning. Now we have a speedy little drone. Now this drone is basically nothing. It's just it just flies. That's all it does. It doesn't even do it that well, honestly. Like some of the other stuff that we've built has been pretty insane. Uh, not and, and also some of the stuff that other people have built have been just comp like bonkers. What's what's above insane? Bonkers? I, I don't know. If there's something above insane, just that. Okay. And I'll show you some of those here in a second. Uh, so this ship does nothing. It flies and that's it. You're gonna need it to do something. Some kind of resource gathering or some kind of tax or whatever. You go to the weapons, for example, and I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay, here's a shotgun. We'll put a shotgun on the front. Uh, we'll put that like right in front of the thruster here, and we'll put two of them up there, and we'll attach this one to this, and then what we'll do is we'll we'll bind that to the left mouth. That sounds perfect. But you know maybe we want some uh, kinetic blasters. We'll attach these guys here, uh, the one there. Control C, Control V, put on that side. Those are also on left mouse. Ah, let's we'll put those on right mouse instead. So click on that right mouse. There we go. Test flight. So now we have a shotgun uh, with no energy. So let's go back again. Let's slap a battery on it. Forgot about that. There we go. Now. You have some blasters, and you have a shotgun. But if we get really close, you can see the battery's depleting, right? Boom, boom, battery's dead. Shoot, 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 battery's dead. Notice it's starting to throttle a little bit, right? So you're gonna need bigger batteries, more batteries. So you see everything you add to the ship is going to, <laughs> is going to need something to back it up, right? Uh, <laughs> You know, you add you add more blasters, you add more weapons, you're gonna need more batteries. So let's go and get that thing out of here. Let's put a big battery on it. Now we could base now we could shoot as much as we want. Uh, and let's let's maybe just aesthetically just kind of move this thing out a little bit more. Maybe bring them out here. Uh, you know, I should show you the wobbly stuff. Let me show you the show, yeah, show you the wobbly stuff. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's put this guy out here. And let's put this guy 
on this and we'll put them out here as well. There we go. So now we'll test fly this. So now we have a fat battery. We can probably sit there and shoot and fire forever and it's probably basically never going to deplete. It will automatically replenish when you're in mission. There it goes. It's finally starting to deplete there. This is a lot of firepower you're getting out of a single battery. Then you let it go and it'll have a recharge rate that's going to go ahead and increase it until it is full. Uh, now, this is not a very good, uh, I was going to try to show you the wobbly stuff, which is basically when the ship gets too lanky, I guess we'll call it. Uh, it'll start to wobble a little bit. And let me see, may I attach something to here and then pull this out here. Now, each each attach point will uh, will extend, like if you move it to, so for example, if I come out of the core here, I can only go so far, right? But if I attach it to here, that green circle will move and I can move it even farther. Will this actually, this should wobble. There we go. It doesn't turn very well, so I guess we're not going to get that much wobble out of it. But I could probably bang it against something, maybe. Let's see. You can see the wobble there. Uh, so there is also <laughs> structural physics in this, is what I'm trying to get at. So you also have to build and plan for that. Uh, you have a, m a massive assortment of things that you could do. Uh, in this case, actually, I don't have a whole lot. I am I actually in my whole second? Is this? I actually, I think I'm in the wrong save. Let me see which one is this. Oh, this is my actual save that I was actually that was playing missions on, which is what we're gonna get to for sure. Um, so, but I will, I want to show you the uh, the creative stuff because the creative is where you could see all the available parts. So that was just parts that I accumulated as I was playing the uh, quote unquote FTL style of uh, of progression. So single player, we're gonna go down to this one. This is my uh, single player or my single player creative save, and we'll go to hangar. And now when I create a new drone, you're going to see, uh, we'll, we'll just flip through here. Uh, we have a, a, a ton of thrusters. Each one has a different type of, of, uh, of thrust. Uh, batteries, fuel, I feel like I'm missing some stuff here too. Oh no, here we go. Okay, yeah, we're getting to magnets. This is a fat magnet, holy crap. Uh, and what is this thing? Factory part, um, factory part. Oh, I guess this is where these, oh yeah, that's right. You could uh, have these things manufacture stuff. I have no idea how that stuff works, by the way. Uh, there are springs, which is does exactly what you think it would do. It bounce off stuff. Uh, when you attack, there's not just weapons, like regular weapons. There's also, like like range weapons. There's also melee weapons. There's drills. Uh, there's spikes, so you could just ram into things if you wanted to. Uh, there's all kinds of crazy options. You have flamethrowers. You have these electric blasters things. Um, you have uh, sniper rifles. Where are those at? I don't know. This, oh, this is cool. Freeze laser I've had this before burning laser is pretty sick uh, let me see you have rockets oh it's a satellite with basically rockets and then you have uh, kinetic blast where's that sniper at what a sniper at? Eh, what doesn't matter um, let me see uh, you have you so this is your resource tank and this is your resource collector so if you want to make a bullet ship it just basically goes out and uh, and collects uh, resources for whatever mission you may have you can do that uh, you get into temperature control stuff, so this is basically if you get into a map that is a freezing map, you can have it automatically trigger stuff, and this is, gets pretty complicated, but we'll, I'll show you some of this stuff as we go, because when we play the game, we're going to be building as we go, right? Uh, and then you have logic, and this is where you could get really, really insane with some of your builds, and I'll show you some of those right now. But for, actually, first, uh, there's also there's also the ability to go into the weapon workshop here, and this gives you a whole tech tree that you could take, a very wobbly tech tree that you could go and take and create uh, you create a new weapon if you wanted to, or you could go through and take uh, your existing weapons and augment those. So I have I have everything unlocked right now because this is sandbox. But as you progress in the game, you can unlock the, some of the stuff to increase the power potential, whatever for any kind of weapon that you have. And you can see that every other weapon will switch to a different part of the tree, indicating that this is where that weapon would benefit the most is from this. And this will, uh, let's say this will, will sort, will, will get through, uh, will be through these pieces and this will be, uh, will benefit from these pieces. And so, so yeah, it's, it's a pretty complex little tree, a uh, little setup here. Well, ish, uh, but it is very handy because some of these, some of these resources, some of these, uh, um, you know, upgrades are significant. I mean, these aren't like 1% here, 2% there. Like this is a hundred percent air resistance. Uh, and then we go move to let's see, 25 attack percent attack speed. So this is very, very useful. Um, uh, useful tech tree. It's not just some bullshit. Let me see. So uh, that's pretty much it for this stuff. Actually, it's not. God damn, it's not it. Oh god. Okay, hold on. Let me go. Let me go back and load another thing because there's a, there's a couple extra layers here that I have to show you. Uh, let's go ahead and get into. Here's a ship that I. Here's my zoomies. Here we go. I like my little zoomies ship. This guy's fast. We'll add a drone here. Uh, just give you a, uh, an option so you can see how this thing functions. Basically, it charges this thing up. Uh, and once you like that, go gives you a boost. Right. Let me turn off the borders. Uh, if I do it again. And I hold down shift, it activates the afterburner. The afterburner kicks in after it gets to up to a certain speed. So if I release the boost, it gets me up to that speed, then kicks in the afterburners, and I'm able to go super fast. 
So, is it going to do it? Uh, nope. There we go. And so now I get a significant amount of speed, and I use this one for the races. There's time trial races that you could do in the game. And uh, that's another one of those pockets that I was telling you about. Uh, let's go back. So, not only can you change, let's say, attaching different, uh, you know, components and whatnot, but you can also use components to trigger other components. Now, obviously, you know that's true with the logic stuff, right? Uh, with the logic stuff, it makes that makes perfect sense. You you, you put things, you, you set up a logic gate to just trigger something whenever something happens. Whenever the temperature gets over a certain amount, then it's going to turn on the uh, the cooler, so that way you don't overheat. That kind of thing. Uh, but you can also put triggers on your individual, like your super capacitor. So whenever the battery is full, what do you want it to do? Okay, when the battery's full, I want it to turn on. Let's say a. Here we do this. Hmm. We'll turn on the heater. How about that? We'll turn on the heater. This is be two birds, one stone with this guy here. And we'll actually make two of them. And we'll put this guy on this side. And then we'll actually, we'll also increase the strength by a lot. And we'll increase strength here by a lot. And then what we'll do is we'll add key. So we'll say if this one activates, I have the key of one. So one. So now if I go to test flight, hit one, you see it gets super hot, right? And if I hold one too long, it's going to melt. So what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll say when the battery is full, I want you to hit one. Now the battery's already full, so the second I get in, it's gonna trigger this thing and you're gonna see what's doing. So I'm not pushing anything. You put it in and it instantly starts roasting my ship. So this is just to show you two things. One, that you could use components to trigger other components or or, or activate other components. Uh, and two, you can actually melt down your ship if you're not careful. You can also freeze your ship and it will just stop working and just land on the planet. You're basically there for eternity kind of thing. Uh, let's go back. <laughs> awesome I love this I seriously love this game so much there's just so much flexibility in what you could do and then and then on top of that scared of this we don't melt our ship anymore uh, on top of that you can go through and add skins to your stuff so we can go through your skins I only have one I don't have pirates corp or sumo but I do have the Nabata skin which is the one you start with and let's say I want to make this thing uh, let's put this this actually looks like it might match up pretty well so if that's skin transparency oh it's not too big <laughs> here we go yeah yeah it's kind of ugly for what it's what it is so we'll go ahead and put this guy here and let's let's you know what maybe it's a little bit too far mm, kind of in the middle so we'll go and take it and we will whoops we'll go ahead and slide it towards the front a little bit there we go then we'll go to this one and we'll do the same thing with this one we'll put it like uh oh this is actually not too bad this might look kind of nice we'll slide this right up underneath here and then what we'll do is we'll actually adjust the z so that we can put it underneath there yeah, it looks good we'll go to this and we'll put a wing on this guy and then we'll extend this out a little bit or we'll pull this up uh, actually no we'll leave it there and we'll extend this out some so it's right at the edge of that we'll do the same thing over here skin boom we'll flip it uh, horizontal oops uh vertical then we'll drop that guy dang it every time every time zero and then we'll drop that guy down so it's flush with that so we kind of get a nice nice kind of symmetrical look there and then with this, it's already got one. Uh, with this guy, we'll put just maybe one more big fat skin on the back here, just to, uh, just to, let me see. Oh, that's kind of nice. Oh, that's even better. Look at that. That is sexy. We could put a little something right here, right? It should be something here. Maybe a little connector kind of thing. That'll work. So we can take this and we'll slide it over. Now this piece that I'm attaching to is off center, which is why you have these the ability to pivot and slide things around. So you can make you can make any combination of these things work. Uh, and slide things around so they look good. So look at this. Like this is this is sexy, right? Yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. You can get in. You can fly your ship around, and it's, all of a sudden you have this whole new look. We're gonna go and hold down uh, shift. We're gonna let go of this, and then look at that. It's sexy. My only my only complaint about this is that you can't see all of your components underneath, and there's no HUD when you get into the actual game itself. When you start playing some of the actual, you know, uh, the progression stuff. There's no HUD or anything like that. So you can't see when your ship is melting down except for visually on the ship itself. But the skins themselves don't heat up and get red like you saw before. So that's a bit of a gripe from me. Uh, so it's not, uh, it's, hopefully that's, it seems like this might be a simple thing for them to fix. Just have like certain areas just heat up and turn red. But I don't know. That's a total content guy thing to say. Oh, this should be totally easy. Just do this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so are we in which save are we in? Let's take a look at our skin. Okay, so well, I guess before I leave here, I might as well go and show you some of the insane shit that other people make. Let's go and get this thing loaded up here. There we go. I have no idea how this thing works. I get in a test flight. It just kind of does stuff. I haven't tried to figure it out, but it's just doing stuff. It's following my mouse. That's uh, that's about it. So it definitely has some kind of logic in there that says follow the mouse wherever it goes, which is kind of cool. 
<laughs> but that's about it. And I can, and I'm flying the little box, by the way. So I don't know how this works. <laughs> I'm sure it does some really cool stuff, though. Uh, so it gets super complex, all the different things that you could do uh, with this. I'll, I'll load up one more here, and then we'll go into the regular game. This is going to be a long episode purely because the game is so complex, and I want to make sure I cover as much as I can. But that's why we're starting here, because, like I said, you have to like this. Otherwise, you will not like the rest of the game. Let's go and turn this down a little bit. Oh, this seems pretty basic. Yeah, so this is not too bad. He's got, uh, let's see, temperature probes. So he's obviously keeping track of temperature, min temp, max, max temp, detection drone parts. And then, uh, Detective Ant X. So he probably has a cooler or something. Probably this, uh, right here. Yes, X. So he has a couple of temperature probes, so whenever something gets too hot, it'll automatically cool itself down. That's pretty sick. Uh, it's factory part, decouple, print, left mouse. I don't know what it's gonna print. Um, let me see. Ready to print, G. Start state, not printed. I have no idea how this stuff works. <laughs> Color LED. Oh, that's awesome. I have no idea what this stuff is. Now here's the here's the thing. Every single element here has a um, has a mass. Uh, the LED has a mass, very light actually, 0.125, which is kind of nice. Uh, this has a mass, 0.25. Even your logic pieces have mass, 0.25. So you have to make sure that you are keeping track of where your center of gravity is. Uh, otherwise, you might add like what you think. Oh yeah, it's simple. It's an AND gate. Let's just throw this on the side, and then all of a sudden your ship's gonna start pulling to the side. And I'll show you how that looks. Let me see. We're gonna pull this up. We'll go to test flight. Then all I'll do is turn the air resistance up really high, so that way you could see it pull to the side here, see? So you don't want that, right? That's annoying. So, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I'll self-destruct button. So, okay, that's the ship builder. Like a kind of a TLDR of the ship builder. So let's go ahead and go back, and I'm going to briefly show you the multiplayer here, because this might be something you're interested in. They have sumo mode, where you can get in, you can push people out of a circle. Uh, they have brawl mode, it's basically just battle bots. Uh, race mode, it's pretty self-explanatory, and catch. Um, which is uh, uh, basically capture the flag or, or capture the target kind of thing. Uh, time racing, this is your time trials. I've done this a few times. I actually really enjoy doing this, uh, running circles and just trying to get some uh, decent times. So I'm ranked 32 on this one. What's up? Uh, that's with my zoomies, as a matter of fact. Did pretty good with that one. Uh, pretty good track, too. Oh my gosh, I haven't tried this one yet. 45 seconds? We're not doing that today. So that's so multiplayer. Now, most of the time, multiplayer is not with an actual other person, I, which is strange. Even timed race, obviously, this is just racing against, uh, not even ghosts, racing against the time, right? Uh, with sumo, every time I've done it, it's always been bots. Uh, with brawl, bots. So I think what happens is people upload their bots. Then uh, they're autonomous bots, and then they just let them accumulate wins. I have no idea because you could, you can actually, uh, you can submit your ship to the uh, to compete. But I don't know if you get any feedback on that later on. Like, does it report back to you and say your ship has won 15 battles? I have no idea. But if it doesn't, it should. So let's go to single player here. <laughs> let's go to new game. Uh, this is my uh, I chose the captain as a heavyweight. Similar to other games like Forts or something, uh, you can pick a captain that will give you a certain perk. Uh, with him, I get a uh, bonus to like health and uh, it's like the tankier captain, right? And then better shields and whatnot. So let's see, where am I here? What galaxy am I in? I am in, I don't know, I think I'm in the second galaxy probably. Let's take a look at the HUD here real quick. So this is the FTL style of gameplay, a progression here. So you basically, you come out of uh, World Multi Galaxy 2 and I need to make my way over here. So we're not going backwards, obviously. Um, so let's so start uh, up here with the, the main area. Uh, you have your inter interconnected links or nodes, and each system here has its own series of planets. And in order to progress to the next area, you have to complete three of them. Right now, this could be two or three, depending on where you depends on where you are. Each one is different. Now I can see I can see in the next planet or in the next system I can see one, two, three planets, but I have no idea what's there. What the what kind of planets there are? Are they hot planets? Are they cold planets? And this is very important if you don't have the parts to to uh, you know to, to make it in a cold planet area, then you don't necessarily want to travel there, right? Uh, there's all this nonsense here. I don't know what that is, and. There's also shops, like for example, this is the, the Cody Post shop. You go and you can buy parts and, and whatnot, but we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to focus on the actual combat and all of that. Uh, at the top, you have Hull. And if you remember in uh, in FTL, there's kind of a health. And I, I keep, I'm going to keep referencing FTL because fucking literally everyone's played this game, so I feel like there should be some familiarity there. Uh, so as you progress, you have a rebel fleet that's chasing you, right? And the same thing it occurs here, but it's called the Corp. Uh, so the Corp is chasing you, and once they once the threat gets high enough then you will they will engage with you if they attack you they could remove one of your you know uh, one of your whole health uh, once your whole health hits zero then the game is over um, you can let me see 
here's my upgrade. Oh, this is perfect, actually. Here's my upgrades that I've accumulated so far in this playthrough. Uh, we have stealth of three, so my threat is decreased by 25%. My warp drive allows you to return to Earth. Oh, actually, I have, I have no idea what that does yet because I've never seen that upgrade. Uh, your bridge. So my bridge level one, I can see zero systems further. So this would allow me one upgrade of this will allow me to see the next system over so I can plan accordingly. Right. Uh, see storage, see free up to 15 parts. This is very, very important. This is, in fact, it's critical that you understand how the parts system works because this is how we uh, how, how this is your currency to continue playing on your on, on in your particular run th of the game. Uh, so upper right corner, first off, you have up here tritium. Tritium is the ore that is consumed when you deploy a drone, exactly what it says. So if I go in and say visit location, uh, incomplete, destroy frost bombs. Okay, so we're going to need a ship that's going to do some kind of, uh, uh, that's going to be able to heat himself up. Or we could just get lucky and just snipe things or something. Uh, so gravity normal, air resistance normal, this is all critical information to know. Destroy frost bombs, okay, we could do that. If you get too close to a frost bomb, it will freeze you. Uh, and then your reward is some more tritium and a small hollow block. So it's going to cost me some tritium to go into the, just to deploy to this planet. But I'm going to make some tritium back. So this is this is a good deal, right? And then a small hollow block. Basically, what these things are is you put, uh, you could put a piece of a component inside of this. Like the heater I showed you guys. You can put that inside of this block and that block will um, protect it. Uh, up to 4,000 health or whatever it is. So we select a drone. So we're going to go through and choose a drone. I don't know which drone I'm going to take on this mission. We might not actually complete it. Um, let me actually take open this guy up here and take a look. These skins are uh, are actually... So as, as much as you might think the skins are cool, for me, I think they're a bit of a hindrance because, like I said, you can't really see what it is that your, uh, uh, that your dude is doing here. So let's go and do this. There, we'll do the back ones. Uh, I don't have any, I have a magnet, I have a small energy shield, I don't have, whoops, I don't have a heater, and I have some VTOLs, which are really good. Oh, there's control key, good control. Let's go ahead and slap a heater on it, just in case, just in case. So we'll grab a heater, and we'll put it, so we're going to slide this forward a little bit, slide this, in, go ahead and patch this here, and then just tie that forward, do the same thing on the other side, and then what we'll do is we'll raise the radius, we'll make sure we get the ship a whole ship in it. We'll leave the strength as is. I don't know which key I have set up for this. I was going to make a new one that I've definitely not used, but so F. So F. There we go. Okay, so now we have a basic ship. We're going to test fly to make sure it's good. This one has a lot of firepower, so I'm hoping it does, um, let's see, shields. My VTOLs. That doesn't do anything. Oh, it's my magnet. Okay. Those. And then collect. And then tab, I think. Uh, Q, E. Okay. Oh, and I have a boost, too. Awesome. Okay, cool. So, I think I remember to fly this. It was just yesterday I was playing this. <laughs> so, save and exit. We have heaters now. Uh, I didn't test the heater, but I'm certain it works. We're going to go ahead and deploy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. So, this is where... Uh, this is where you spend that tritium. So I'm making 60 tritium out of this, but it's going to cost me 76 uh, in order to deploy. So, I'm going to make a total of 16. I'm going to gain 4% of, uh, of threat just by deploying to this to, to this uh, planet to do this mission. So that's a lot. So let's go down here and take a look at some of these smaller drones that I have. But this is a very simple drone. Uh, as a matter of fact, this actually might be, let me see, uh, 19 parts uh, it costs 16. If I were to go through and let's say delete a small battery, delete a small battery, and maybe we can, hmm, let's grab small energy shield, collector. This is a basic hauler is what this is. Huh, let me see. What can I get rid of? Thruster. Let's get rid of one of the rockets here. Rockets. And then we'll get rid of, oh, this is hard. <laughs> oh, man. Let's get rid of the rockets. There we go. Pull this back, pull this back. So notice that it dropped from deploy cost 15 parts to zero. That's because I can uh, I can deploy up to 15 parts, right? Each one of these costs, I think, four for me, but five when you first start out. Uh, and then when I want to go over here, I still gain 4% threat, but notice there is no, no other cost. This is what you do when you want to go in and just... Just, a, just attempt a level, attempt a map, maybe you can complete it, or maybe you want to scout to see what you need to bring. Like if you want to bring the big stuff, or if you could make do with just a smaller scout. And this is a way you can, you can make things affordable for you as you progress, but you are going to pay for it in uh, in threats. Isn't it crazy we've done all this stuff, we haven't actually gone into an actual mission yet? <laughs> I re you're probably like, where is the action? It's like, no dude, it's in the ship building, it's not in the action, okay? Let's get in. <laughs> so here we go, here's the FTL stuff I was talking about. <laughs> 
<laughs> all right so there are many worms wormholes in the universe that can be used to teleport us to other galaxies yes 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 all right so destroy frost bombs let's go and try to find some frost bombs uh, you can see this blue aura here that indicates there's a frost bomb nearby we could probably just go ahead and snipe it from a distance just kind of launch stuff at it notice my ship's getting warm or cold rather we're gonna go and heat it up just kind of tap that uh tap the button there there we go let's go and hit it a couple more times now it's it's draining my batteries here yeah it's draining the batteries a little bit so we gotta wait there we go get now now we're good we can probably just go in pretty hot actually now let's go find another uh oh got some got some baddies here take care of these dudes now, I should also keep in mind that the oh that's too too far. Damn, those those weapons suck. Sometimes you get weapons with bonuses, and random bonuses are just bad. <laughs> just bad. Uh oh, they're actually taking me out here. I don't have battery for my uh, my shields. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and use. Oh no! <laughs> oh my VTOLs! My VTOL! Oh, <laughs> oh, that's it. That's GG. Uh, so didn't have enough batteries. I did. Did I delete two batteries on this one? I don't think so. So yeah, I'm gonna get, get my shit rocked here. I'm gonna go and go return a hangar. So that was not a good ship to bring on this trip. Let's bring another one. Let's bring this little guy here. This guy's got, uh, this is the one that we just messed with. It's got VTOLs, it's got uh, some rockets, and it's quick, which is I think what we're gonna need for this. Yeah, it's, it's still gonna cost me a little bit, uh, 40. So I'm already starting to lose money on this run, but I may not actually complete a mission on this. Wouldn't it be hilarious? I played an entire stream and I was doing relatively well. <laughs> just a couple days ago, man. All right, here we go. Uh, this oh this one's wobbly awesome <laughs> so I don't have a I have a heater on this what I met on that key to let me see a shield ah, okay it's the middle there's the one of the mice button one of the mice buttons let's get in quick see if we can't just take care of it quickly and then if we freeze it's fine we could just wait a second pop that heater on there we go just make sure no, we don't melt anything. I'm gonna go this way because we know that we now know that there's a pocket of enemies over there, and we don't want to mess with that. Now here's some resources here. This is also important too. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to just use my collector. It's on my tail, I believe, and just collect all this stuff up. And then we'll run over here, and we'll just get close to this, and we'll end up dropping it off. So you could get unobtainium, which is a currency used to to buy stuff, of course, and then of course uh, the tritium, which I've told you is already one. You could buy stuff with it, including hull upgrades or hull uh, 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 healing your hull uh, repairs, as well as oh, I don't want to get in a fight with that guy right now. Let's see if I can. Oh, there's two of them here. Hmm. Let's back up a little bit. Let's go ahead and heat myself up a little. And then what we'll do is we are going to go take out these guys. We'll try to engage with one super fast here because they do like to run. I don't have shields on this thing, it doesn't, doesn't feel like it. Oh man, these guys are just wrecking me. There we go. Okay, so now I'm actually burning hot. This is the perfect time to get in there and try to get this, because now we have two of them to fight. Or fight, I don't know, it's much, much of a fight. Okay, it's gonna heat it up a little bit. Oh gosh, quick, 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 quick. Trying to use weapons and heat myself up at the same time. Okay, freezing, freezing, freezing. Now, when you freeze, certain things will lock up. Notice that that, plas that plasma blaster is not turning. It's because it's frozen. <laughs> so this is this is like that extra layer of management that I love about this. Uh, not only do you have structural integrity, you have heat management, cold management, um, your center of gravity, your thrust to mass ratio. Like everything is super important in this. Uh, let me see. I need to get five more. Oh my god. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Not a particularly fast ship, but we can hunt these dudes down. Oh, great. Dang it, give me the one. There. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The good news is this is a frozen planet. So I can get down low. Oh, man. This is going to be a tough mission, isn't it? It's going to be one of those. Ah, here we go. Let's see if we can get this. Let's see if we can just ignore these guys for a second. Or freeze them, maybe. Bam. Come on, come on, come on, come on. If I freeze, it's fine because I'm pointing in the right direction. <laughs> I'm pointing in the right direction to take this guy out. There we go. Okay, so we're going to let the battery charge for a second. You won't uh, explode from freezing. But I think eventually your uh, your heater might freeze, so I wouldn't necessarily risk it. 
It's going to take a minute here. Uh-oh, are my rear thrusters gone? No, they're there. Oh, come on, come on, break the frost. Oh, great. Just sitting duck. I've had so many missions where I'm basically just a sitting duck the entire time. Heating, heat, 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 heat. Uh-oh, I'm not getting that rear end there. I got to wiggle out of this, uh... Try to wiggle my way away from this aura. This aura is killing me right now. Notice that it is heating up, but it's not strong enough to break. I should have increased the power on it. Let me actually just, I'm just going to let it go. I can't see my batteries. Uh, so I'm just going to wait a second because I have a feeling my batteries are not quite charged enough to really uh, dedicate pushing these things. Pushing this heater. Okay, that's right. I'm do it. Okay, it's on, it's on, it's on, it's on. Come on, come on, come on, baby. I feel like I'm getting, we're getting there, we're getting loose. Oh, what the? <laughs> what the hell? This is perfect. <laughs> oh. The AI is very complex. Uh, wow. Just, oh, just, just watch, just, just, God. Uh, but the good news is we're going to clean out everybody here. Here's the next thing we're gonna do in a second. Uh, so now we have no, oh God. Let's see if we can take care of this guy first. And then I'm gonna wait, my battery's dead. Oh, Jesus Christ. Unbelievable. <sighs> wait, can I hit it from here? Oh my gosh, I'm hitting it, I'm hitting it. I might be able to tilt this forward here and do some damage. Oh yeah, there we go. We'll just try to maintain, we'll just lift my tail end here to aim that thruster that's frozen, frozen solid. We will eventually be able to get through this. I can't aim my rockets or anything. My VTOLs are dead. Everything for- oh, my back end's getting heated up though. Oh, yes, 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 yes! Quick, 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 quick! There we go. Okay, okay. Heat, 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 heat. Success! Success! Let me tell you, man, it feels good when- <laughs> when you go through hell and then you somehow manage to pull it off. God, there's another one right here. Now I'm stuck. I'm stuck again. I couldn't get away. It feels good when you could survive a mission like this, though, where you're just struggling against the elements or whatever. It's just, oh, I have nothing now. Oh, I gotta hope that I don't fall into the pit. Don't fall into the pit. This is all I have right now. It's just his angle. Gone. Gonna freeze me for a second. But this guy, thankfully, is going to continue to attack, which is gonna continue heating those components he's attacking. So I'll be able to, he's actually aiming for the uh, blaster, it seems, or maybe the core. Yes, look at that. Look at that success. Huge success. <laughs> All right, oh God, Jesus, come on, man. Oh no, 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 no. Go, let's get out of this circle. We're gonna clear the guys out first, then we're gonna go in and take care of him. There we go, heat, 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 heat. Where in the F are my batteries on this thing? Oh, that it's oh it's, it's empty all the time. No wonder. I thought it was I thought that was cargo. <laughs> the battery's so it's dead constantly. No wonder I don't know where it's at. All right, get this thing done. Fantastic. Oh yeah. Oh man, You're the best. Let's go and soak some of this up. Slurp it up. Superheat myself a little bit. There we go. That should be about a full tank. Now let's see, this should be one more over here, probably surrounded by dudes, but we were just swarmed by a ton of enemies, so there's one, there he is right there. You know what, he might leave me alone for a minute. Let's swarm it real quick, go, 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 we'll take the hit. We're frozen, good, destroy all. Now here's the beauty of this, we have completed this mission. We don't have to necessarily leave right this second, we don't actually have to go dock. We could go and explore and grab more resources and then bring them back. Uh, in my case, I do have a, 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 a cargo full of resources, so I am going to fly this thing back. We managed to survive this, actually. Wow, that's, um, and let me tell you, there's a lot of missions where you are just by the skin of your teeth because, because what are you going to do? Try to, uh, what is my key for my uh, shield? There it is. <laughs> I'm gonna, we'll just drop these things off. And then let it drop. There we go. Shield's still holding. The shield's gonna hold forever, by the way. The battery's fat. Let's go and wipe these dudes out. And then we're done. Oh, shield's down. 
Come on, come on. Even if I were to like almost die right now, I wouldn't necessarily lose because I could just go back to the Nabathis. Boom, that's it. Now I have mission complete, says I got 60 tritium, so I still lost some tritium on that deal, but I did gain this hollow thing, so that's pretty nice. I could work that into my builds uh, going forward. And that is just one of three that I need to just complete one of these systems to move on to another system in order to continue progressing. So one single playthrough of this can potentially be hours, hours, because in between every every uh, every time you go through and you complete a, a map, you get new parts and maybe you go to the next zone. You're like, OK, what am I going to do this next zone? Actually, matter of fact, let me go back and let me see if I can trigger a, an event. I don't know if I can Let me go to let's see. Maybe we could fly over here so you can see what those uh, those events are. So plus 9% threat. Let's go and go back and forth here a couple times strictly so you guys can see what happens. Oh, cool. Random events. Look at that. Just what we wanted. You encounter a pirate ship, they may not like you, but they dislike the corp even more. Offer you a trade. Uh, for a little bit of your money, they'll attack the corp and distract them. Well, I don't have the money to do that, so I'll say ignore. They scoff at you and fly away, leaving you behind. 52% by the way, keep note of that. I don't know if it's necessarily... Okay, so they're, they're not... It does, they didn't actually uh, uh, report me or do anything like that. Let me see. Uh, nope, can't go back. We'll go back and forth here just to generate more and more of that threat. And then uh, then we'll get out of here. But <clears throat> yeah, I mean, Nebatis is a very long, very, um, very detail focused game. Like you're you're going to be spending a lot of time building, uh, modifying, testing so many things. And the testing grounds are very robust. I didn't even show you, but the testing grounds have not just that one test grid. Uh, you could test on a planet. You could summon enemies. You can do you can do a, a race, uh, like, like just a basic racetrack. So you could test the maneuverability of your ship. There's all kinds of stuff that you could do uh, in order to uh, build up your... I'm totally throwing away this run, but it's totally fine. Um, ah, here we go. Intercepted. Distress, distress signal. Yes. Good. More of these, the better. Ah, cool. So the signal turned out to be just a traveling mechanic looking for customers. So oh, what do I want him to do? I can't afford anything. Uh, I can scrap hull parts. Here we go for uh, for some tritium. Let's go and do that actually. That way, if we do encounter the uh, the corp fleet, the rebel fleet, then we will die, and you will see what that looks like. <laughs> also, an important part of the game. At nine percent threat, we're at ninety-two point seven percent. Here we go. Here they come. Hull at zero. The core is caught up to you and opens fire. A few shots hit you and manage to penetrate the hull. Continue. Bah, bah, bah. There you go. <laughs> uh, I get credits too? What? Uh, okay. After several violent explosions, everything turns dark and quiet. Your mission has come to a screeching halt. The corp have achieved their goals and the Baptists will continue to drift endlessly through space as a reminder of their victory. Dun, dun, dun. Deep. Deep. Uh, so it says, but fret not, the baddest program is far from over. So I can start a new game and transfer my drones to sandbox mode. This is important because you build, you spend a lot of time and a lot of hours in single player campaign, building and modifying and, and perfecting these builds for different types of missions. It's not sandbox, right? You're going to have one mission that's going to be for, uh, for cold planets, or sorry, one drone for cold planets, for hot planets, some for attacking, some for scouting, some for hauling, some for uh, mining. I mean, my God, there's so much mining stuff too. It's crazy how much stuff you could do in the uh, in the campaign. Uh, it seems it seems like that's actually one of the people's biggest complaints is the campaign. They don't necessarily like it. Uh, my biggest complaint, outside of the skins being an issue that I mentioned earlier, is the tutorial sucks. <laughs> Almost everything I've shown you guys today, outside of the this is how you go forward, this is how you go back, was self-taught. Uh, basic movement, battle, advanced building, and resource gathering. And then after this, it goes into logic parts, sensor parts, autonomous racing, basic, advanced, autonomous racing. It gets pretty crazy really fast. So it's like super basic stuff, get you started, and then they, then they let you just go and just figure things out. It doesn't really teach you much about the UI. It teaches you about the builder, which is good. Uh, and that's a great start, and that was a great start for me, because then it kind of set the stage for going through and learning the rest of the game, of course, because you're not really frustrated with the, uh, uh, the, uh, the shipbuilding element. And honestly, some of the stuff I've already taught you guys today and showed you guys is stuff that's not covered, so you're covered there as well. Uh, but yeah, this game is 
Uh, for me, this game is amazing. Uh, it is right up my alley. I am a huge FTL fan. Uh, I do like the, uh, the, the, I guess you say, the physics with uh, with oxygen not included in terms of like heat management, cold management. I think all that stuff is very intriguing and trying to cr find a balance. Uh, I do like some of the basic programming, just like I do in oxygen not included with all of the automation and whatnot. I do like that stuff. Um, if you play KSP, uh, this might be for you. I've heard that it's very similar to Spore and that you get the total freedom of creation. Uh, there's just so much you can do. It's Legos, KSP, all these games in one with an FTL style campaign. And I mean, outside of a handful of complaints, I really can't, comp I really can't bitch. I really can't. So my opinion, yeah, after, after today, like I said, if you got past the shipbuilding part, then I think you're probably pretty much good to go. This is totally something you should watch out for uh, and check out on your own. So I appreciate you guys hanging out though. My name is Mike B. The game's called Nebatis, the space drone constructor. Uh, just, just a fantastic game. Just so good. Lately, there's been so many good games. I'm so happy. So happy we're making some more, some more things for breakfast. Uh, thanks for hanging out, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye.